Okay, so to work our textured single and double crochet stitch pattern, we're going to chain in multiples of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one more. One, two, three. Okay. So with uh, stitch patterns like this, I get a lot of questions when it comes to some of the patterns I've wrote. I try to stick a lot of times with the basic stitches because when working stitch patterns as simple as this, you would not believe the patterns that you can design just using your four basic stitches, um, depending on the order in which you use them and how you um, just utilize those stitches even if it's just a single single and a double based on how you utilize and where you put those stitches and which ones you use in combination with each other can really give you a beautiful textured stitch okay then this is the perfect example of that so once you have your uh, multiples chained you want to work two double crochet in the third stitch from your hook so one and two. You want to then skip two chains and then in the next chain you want to do a single crochet and two double crochet. So all three stitches are together in the same stitch. Now you're just going to repeat that across so you'll skip two chains and then in the next one you'll put that single one there along with two doubles skip two chains, work a single in the next, and two doubles in that same single. <clears throat> now once you get down to your last three chains, you'll skip those last two and just put a single crochet into the last stitch. Okay, so so far that's what you should have. And that's our foundation row. Now row one, you're just going to turn, and row one's going to be our one and only row that you're going to repeat through the whole pattern. So now let's chain one, and that's going to act as your single crochet. And now you're going to put two double crochet right into that same stitch. So one and two. Now for this row, you're just going to skip your double crochets and only work in your single crochets. So you want to single crochet into that single crochet and put two doubles in there also just like we did before and this is where your texture is going to come in okay so single in the next single and two doubles in that same single and this is going to give you a little bit of a raised effect single in the next single along with two doubles And it's that simple. And once you get to the last three stitches, you just simply want to single crochet in your turn and chain. And that's really all there is to it. And you'll see the texture. It's not completely flat. It gives you a bit of a raised look. So now you're going to turn again, chain one, and you'll just resume the pattern. Put two doubles right into that same first chain and you're still going to just work into the single crochets. So put a single and two doubles in there. Working that across. You're not working in your doubles at all. And this um, type pattern, uh, it's a closed pattern for the most part and it will be very beautiful if you do sort of like a temperature afghan has worked whatever project you do with a um, project when it comes to this if you change the colors uh, gently as you go uh, say from light to dark or light to dark or dark to light would be absolutely beautiful if you change it about every two to three rows would be magnificent so one more time you'll turn and chain one 
and two double crochet right into that same stitch and skipping all doubles you're only working in the single crochets you'll put a single and two doubles and that's all there is to work in this um, there are other ways to work singles and doubles together to get uh, different effects from your stitch work and like I said that's the important part of working your simple basic stitches together is how you utilize the way you do work them together to get a specific look because that's most how most of my patterns are worked is by using simple stitches and that's all there is to it and you get just a fabulous look and that's all there is to work in the textured single and double crochet and you will just keep going in the same manner until you have your desired length until next time guys hope you enjoyed the pattern until next time happy hooking hey guys thanks for joining me back today we are going to learn how to use our two simple stitches such as single crochet and double crochet together into the same stitch and learn how to give a pattern a simple texture so let's get started <music> 